You've got a tune to KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle, online at kexp.org, heard round the world. I'm Cheryl Waters, host of the Midday Show. Very excited to have live in studio with me today, Pontiac. Welcome. Hi. Thank you for having us. Good to Thanks be here. It's been a long time in coming. We're so excited to have you here. Want to kick it off with a couple of tunes? Absolutely. Absolutely.
Pontiac live on KEXP, sounding amazing and playing tonight at the Comet Tavern here in Seattle. Thank you so much for coming in today. It's great to have you. Yeah, Thank you for here. having us. It's wonderful to be here. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, both of those songs from the new album, Echo Ono? That's right. Um, they are. And uh, that's out on Thrill Jockey. And you have, uh, I've lost count of how many albums you have. You're a very prolific so band. <laughs> and uh, most of those out on Thrill Jockey Records. Uh, again, uh, you're a pretty prolific band. And I'm wondering where you continue to find inspiration from album to album, because each album has a new and interesting sound. Well, we, we have our own studio, um, and uh, we are constantly inspired. We live on the same farm different houses and um, we spend most of our time playing and writing music and it's what we love it's what we do uh, we're gonna do another album too but it's <laughs> it's not gonna be for a little bit longer uh, we're gonna really kind of take our time with this one um, just in a different process and in a different way but uh, we, we tend to have this huge wellspring of inspiration I have no idea where it, where it comes from maybe it's eating good barbecue I don't know that's so charming to think of you all living on the same farm in different houses. And I should mention to our listeners that you are all brothers. Yep, and that's right. so that must make things uh, pretty easy in a band, keeping it in the family <laughs> <laughs> like that. Well, no one's going to get kicked out. All right. <laughs> Good enough. And uh, how does the songwriting work then? It sounds like you're always around each other. You can run into the studio anytime. I'm guessing that it's a collaborative project process. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. usually someone will come up with an idea, or maybe not, you know, we'll all come up with an idea together, and, and then we we'll just kind of, you know, push on through the creative process and, and edit and whittle as we go and say, that's good, or that's not good, or, or not good, or not good, or I like that, or I don't like that, usually is the way it comes across. Do you intentionally try to do something different with each album? Yes, definitely, in a different way. It depends on what way it's going to be, but with Echo Ono, we decided that we wanted to make a, a, an album that was more direct than anything that we had done previously. And um, I, we, I think for us, we definitely achieved that. And uh, we have different processes throughout each different album. And um, so with it being more direct, we had more consistent st song structures and kind of basic things that we work amongst, uh, work out amongst ourselves. It, it is a very direct album. It's very concise, it's somewhat short, and it's very loud. <laughs> yes, it's really loud. <laughs> we did it all to tape. Uh, we recorded everything except for the vocals live. We tracked everything to quarter inch tape live. And uh, the VU meters were just maxed out the entire time. <laughs> well, there's nothing that sounds as good as natural tape compression. So. I read somewhere that on Echo Ono you were trying to create color with sound. If that's true, explain what that means. Well, I guess this is sort of more of um, I, I When I hear our music, or any music for that matter, I see, I always associate it with colors. I just, it's always happened since I was little, and I just can't, I can't that's just the way that I think about it. I've heard that before. I mean, yeah. I think that must be like a thing. It probably yeah. has a name. Yeah, people call them st synesthetes. Um, I don't know if I'm as, well, I, I've heard some people talk about just like really elaborate stuff that's just almost sort of hallucinogenic, or hallucinatory and sort of psychedelic. I'm not like that. I'm more like your sort of pale blues. <laughs> okay. Every song really? is a different shade of blue, yeah. is that what you're saying? Uh, no, actually different keys. Like A is always usually in blue, and then it depends on what the song is doing. It'll be a lighter blue or a darker blue. D is always in a lighter shade of yellow. C is in a darker yellow. B is always in red. I don't know what it is. F is always brown. E is always green. Interesting. <laughs> Lane and Jennings, do you all uh, visualize it that way? You just no. follow along on the train. You're no, no, no. I mean, the ride. No, I, I, I do not see. I definitely picture stuff when I when I hear music, but not it is not color. I don't know what I picture, but it's yeah. not color. For I sure. kind of have these weird shapes in my head, like like mm -hmm. forms, but I can't I can't describe them. They're like boxes, and they'll change into different. Well, Lane, maybe you taste the music, because I noticed you stick your tongue out a lot when you drum. No. <laughs> no. Maybe. Maybe all That's the different... That's because his tongue's trying to get out of his mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Each note has a different flavor to you. Well, it's a delight to have you live in studio today and Pontiac playing at the Comet Tavern in Seattle tonight. You have time for a couple more songs? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you guys have time. We do. <laughs> you guys want to play the three-hour jam? Yeah. Yeah. It's not really a three-hour jam. Ah, yeah.
It's Pontiac live on KEXP, the expanding sky from the new album Echo Ono. And the song previous, is that a uh, vinyl only? Yeah. Uh, yes, that was on Come Crudos, which is vinyl only. And well, there is digital. You can buy it online. <laughs> Excuse me. You can buy it online. It was great to hear you perform that live as well as all the songs. And uh, those last two are great representations of how beautifully you all sound singing together. Oops. Our engineer, Kevin Suggs, told me right before uh, we came on the air that he heard you talking and saying that um, your voices sometimes sound so similar that you yeah. cancel each other out. Yes, yeah. it's very, it's it's almost near impossible for to distinguish who's singing, yeah. 
So we're constantly up there, and we'll be like, wait, am I out of key? So if, we're singing the, if we're singing the same note, yeah, it's, it's literally impossible. impossible. It's like someone's flat. It's like, I don't know if that's me. If you, like, yeah. if you want to know what, what the fights are about, the fights are about you were flat. No, dude, I was not nah, flat. Dude, I was not. <laughs> you were flat. Our, our, our own mother has a hard time distinguishing our voices apart. That's funny. <laughs> Suffice so. it to say, it's yes. never you that's flat, right? No, it's never me. <laughs> well, it's definitely not me. <laughs> we start Wikipedia pages about who was flat when so we can reference it. I'm just That's kidding. We don't true. do that. <laughs> you can catch Pontiac tonight at the Comet here in Seattle, and I assume on tour for a while longer. And then, what's up next for y'all? Well, we uh, we're on tour for like a week and a half more, two weeks more, so week and a half more. We got two, we're going two weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks. We got yeah. uh, we're sort of week heading three quarters. Week and three quarters. <laughs> we're uh, we're heading uh, with Seattle and then uh, Portland tomorrow, and then Boy- Boise, 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 Denver, and then Denver. Chicago. Lincoln, Lincoln, Kansas City, Kansas City Chicago, Chicago, and then back and to then East Coast. Coast. I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm yeah. impressed. Between the three of you, you've got it down. <laughs> yeah. I, know then, you, I know you got your start in Baltimore. You mentioned uh, you lived on a farm. Where is that now? Well, we live on a farm um, in, uh, near Warrenton, Virginia, which is very close to the Shenandoah National Park. And, um, yeah, it's, it's great. We started out playing in Baltimore, which was amazing and just fantastic in so many ways. And then... Um, we grew up out where kind of where we live now, and it affords us the ability to have a studio, and um, there's not a lot of people out there. So, sounds like an <laughs> idyllic life. Yeah, cool. it's pretty. It's pretty awesome. Got a big yeah. garden, some chickens, and stuff. So. And lots of great music. <laughs> Thank you so Thanks. much for coming Thank by you. today. Thank you for right. having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. And thanks to our studio engineer Kevin Suggs, always making the band sound great. Here Thanks, at Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. KEXP Seattle.